वेलकम फ्रेंड्स लेट अस कंटिन्यू टू स्टडी आई सी एंजीन ऑन माय यूट्यूब चैनल काइंडली लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब माय यूट्यूब चैनल द टॉपिक इंक्लूडेड इन टुडेज लेक्चर इज न्यूमेरिकल ऑन आई सी एंजीन फॉलोइंग रीडिंग्स वेर टेकन ड्यूरिंग टेस्ट ऑफ सिंगल सिलिंडर फोर स्ट्रोक ऑइल एंजिन सिलिंडर डायमीटर इज इक्वल्स टू टू फिफ्टी मिलीमीटर स्ट्रोक लेंथ फोर हंड्रेड एम एम मिनिफेक्टिव प्रेसर सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव बार एंजिन स्पीड टू फिफ्टी आर पी एम नेट लोड ऑन ब्रेक दैट इज इफेक्टिव लोड दैट इज इक्वल्स टू वन जीरो एट जीरो न्यूटन effective diameter of brake 1.5 meter fuel used per hour that is equals to 10 kg calorific value of fuel that is equals to 44300 kJ per kg and find indicated power brake power mechanical efficiency and indicated thermal efficiency Now let us see what data they have given. Number of cylinder one and four stroke engine. So you can write, say that the cylinder single cylinder. So it is number of cylinder one and is a four stroke engine. Cylinder diameter that is capital D, 250 millimeter. Converting into meter that is 0.25 meter. Stroke length capital L is equals to 400 millimeter. That is 0.4 meter. mean effective pressure that is mep or pm that is equals to 6.5 bar converting bar into the pascal so 6.5 multiply by 10 to 5 newton per meter square engine speed capital n is equals to 250 rpm net load on brake that is effective load on brake that is w minus s that is equals to 1080 newton effective diameter of brake 1.5 meter fuel used per hour that is mf is equals to 10 kg per hour converting into the kg per second so 10 divided by 3600 that is equals to 0.22 sorry 0.00277 0.00 kg per second and the last one is calorific value of fuel that is cv is equals to 44300 kJ per kg and we have to calculate ip brake power mechanical efficiency indicated thermal efficiency now indicated power the equation for the ip is pm lan by 60 multiply by number of cylinder let us see what data they have given pm mean effective pressure yes they have given capital l that is the stroke length they have given area they have not given so we have to calculate and number of cylinder they have given that is 1 so let us calculate the capital a so capital a is equals to pi by 4 d square d they have given that is 0.25 meter and therefore capital a is equals to 3.14 divided by 4 multiply by 0.25 square and calculating capital a is equals to 0.04906265 meter square now how to calculate small n so to calculate the small n we require the data whether the given engine is four stroke or two stroke engine so capital uh, small n is equals to capital n by 2 for four stroke engine and capital n is engine rpm that is 250 rpm so that is small n is equals to 250 by 2 that is equals to 125 number of cylinder one they have already given so substituting all values and calculating we are going to get ip is equals to 26. 5755 kilowatt now let us calculate the brake power 
So break power can be calculated using two equations. So break power is equals to 2 pi n t by 60. That is equals to PMB LA n by 60 multiplied by number of cylinder. Now let us see what data they have given. 2 is a constant, pi constant, capital N is the RPM they have given, capital T that is the torque. They have not given us the torque directly, but we can calculate the torque using the values of net load and effective diameter. So we can calculate the brake power using the first equation. Now let us check for the second equation. PMB, that is the brake mean effective pressure. So they have not given us the data for the PMB. So we cannot use the second equation to calculate the brake power. So using the first equation, here also the torque they have not given us directly. So the torque is equals to effective load on brake drum multiplied by effective radius on brake drum. Effective load, that is 1080 Newton. Effective radius, that is effective diameter divided by 2. So that is 1080 multiplied by 1.5 by 2. So torque is equals to 810 Newton into meter. So substituting the values in the equation of brake power and calculating, we are going to get brake power is equals to 21.195 kilowatt. So we have calculated the indicated power, we have calculated the brake power. Now the next parameter we have to calculate is Mechanical efficiency. So the mechanical efficiency is equals to brake power divided by indicated power multiplied by 100. Substituting the value and calculating mechanical efficiency is equals to 79.754 percentage. Now let us calculate the next parameter. Indicated thermal efficiency. The equation for the indicated thermal efficiency is IP divided by energy supplied to engine multiplied by 100. So it is IP divided by MF into CV multiplied by 100. MF they have given, yes, we have already converted into kilogram per second and CV also they have given. So substituting the value and calculating we are going to get indicated thermal efficiency is equals to 21.657 percentage. Kindly ask your queries in the comment box. Kindly like, share and subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you.